Hi everyone. Welcome back to the Safe Touches show. It's so good to see all of you. We're so glad you can join us this week. Now, before we get into this week's topic, let's do a little bit of review here. And I have a question for all of you. Did you practice your safety tools at home? I bet you all know them so well by now. Let's practice those safety tools one more time. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Trust your feelings. Try to say no. Try to walk away. Tell an adult. Let's do those one more time. Trust your feelings. Try to say no. Try to walk away. Tell an adult. Remember friends, we have these safety tools just in case someone ever tries to give us a not safe touch or asks us to do something that's not safe. All right, friends. Now we have spent the last couple of weeks learning about not safe touches and learning those safety tools about what we can do about those not safe touches, right? This week, we wanted to talk to all of you just a little bit more about not safe touches. And to do that, we're gonna listen in on a conversation between Herbert and Petunia. Now, this is a really important conversation. So what I need you to do is take your listening ears and tune them up like this so you can hear really, really well. And now let's take a listen to that conversation. Petunia, I want you to know that not safe touches could happen in a lot of different ways. Children can receive not safe touches that make them feel nervous and confused inside. Oh, oh, I remember what not safe touches are, Herbert. Those happen on the private parts of the body. And I remember what the private parts of my body are. Those are the parts of my body that are covered when I put on my bathing suit. <laughs> That's right, Petunia. And not safe touches can happen any time of the day or night. Yes, any time. Hmm. Well, could they happen at my friend's house or, or at my school? Yes, even at a place that you've been before and have felt comfortable. So, Herbert, you mean to say that not safe touch might happen anywhere. But, uh, Herbert, who, who might get a not safe touch? Petunia, that's a good question. All kinds of people can give children not safe touches or ask children to touch the private parts of their body. It could be a man, a woman, somebody old, or somebody young. Oh, okay, Herbert. Well, could it be somebody who wears like a suit or, or a uniform, Herbert? Yes, Petunia, and it could also be somebody you love like a grandparent, a parent, a stepmom or dad, a cousin, or other family member. Hmm. Okay. Well, could it be someone that I know that's not a family member? Like maybe like a coach or a teacher or like a, a neighbor? Yes, Petunia. And it could even be somebody at church, like a minister, a priest a rabbi or an imam. Okay, Herbert, so it could be someone that I know, but it also could be someone that I don't know. Is that right? Exactly. Okay, well, so Herbert, that means that someone that I know and love or, or someone that I like might give a not safe touch. That's right, Petunia. Someone you know and love could give you a not safe touch. But remember, you might love the person and not like the touch. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. I hope that you were listening very closely because there was a lot of important information in there. We want you to know that not safe touches could come from anyone and they might happen anywhere. Now, friends, I also 
also want us to remember something we've been talking about for the last couple of weeks. And that is that most grown-ups are good and are here to help children. When we're talking about not safe touches, we are talking about some grown-ups that might not be thinking straight. Now, it's the job of grown-ups to care for children, to protect children, to teach children. And when grown-ups are giving not safe touches, they are not doing their jobs. But most importantly, friends, we want you to always remember that not safe touches are never the child's fault. All right, friends, that is all that we have for you for this week. Now, next week is going to be our last episode of the Safe Touches Show. And for this last episode, we are gonna talk about that fourth safety tool, the tell an adult safety tool. We're gonna talk about all the adults that you have in your life that you might be able to talk to about not safe touches and questions about not safe touches. So join us next week as we talk about those trusted grown-ups, and we'll see you then.